cracker biscuits, all sorts of weird different things that you would think sounds in, like, why would they put this in here? But it actually blends very nicely. And Welcome to Bayesian Lifestyles where we give you the best of Barbados and all of its hidden treasures. Now, Barbados is known as the birthplace of rum, but did you know there are a few breweries, bear breweries here on the island? We're here at Dread Hop Brewery, and we're gonna show you some of the amazing beers that they have to offer. And this one is called, I don't remember, but that's okay, because it tastes good. So, let's go. Dread Hop Brewery is Barbados' first artisanal craft brewery with a variety of beers ranging from ales, IPAs, lagers, and stouts. They seek to educate Barbadians and newcomers alike on the unique handcrafted brews which have been produced using the best quality hops and malts from around the world. So we're here with Matt, the master brewer at Dread Hop Brewery. Matt, tell us all about the amazing beers here at Dread Hop. Well, I must say they are quite amazing, actually. We have 10 different types of beers that we produce here. Um, all of which are produced by grains and hops that come in from various countries over the world um, to produce that signature flavor that we love here. The yeast is very important for our brew. It gives that patented flavor for each of our brews and a lot of it, everything comes down to the love we put into it and also the cleanliness in which we keep our place. We want it looking shiny. We're very, very much about cleanliness in our tanks and making sure that every time we brew, um, the beer comes out as clean as the last batch, which ultimately uh, boils down, no pun intended, to a beautiful, <laughs> nice, crispy, clear-looking beer. The Red Hot Beery offers patrons the opportunity to take a tour of the factory and learn all about the process of making beer. What I found interesting is the small changes in the ingredient amounts and production results in a vast array of flavors. The temperature during each process is essential to the outcome of the beer. Essentially, it is the most important process next to the mashing stage. Uh -huh. The mashing stage is very important. It is temperature uh, coordinated. And if you don't get the temperatures right, you don't get the beer right. I could not believe that over 2,000 liters of beer was in each of these tanks fermenting to perfection. Um, essentially, after we've done our brew, um, the sugar water that we have collected from our grain will go into these fermenters, and what we do is we add yeast to them. And during that process, oxygen is also added so that we can actually activate the creation of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have a, a little local, as we should say, that hangs around here a lot. Don't mind she doesn't make it into the area that we are, are brewing in. We have boundaries with her, but we do have our own brewery cat who takes care of the outside scenery and makes sure we don't have any mice. Uh, without using pesticides or anything, we're trying to be natural with everything, but not to mention Calypso, which is our cat, also one of our beer's names, um, is a very friendly face. Everyone that comes here knows the cat, and it's a part of our... She's, he, she's almost like our mascot, basically. Oh, I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah, so that's why the Calypso beer has a picture of a cat on it. <laughs> Very easy to determine which beer that is. Oh, I love that. Yeah. So this is the final process. This is the final process before we uh, send it off to your restaurant or your home or just to you, whoever wants it. Essentially what happens is the bottle will go into the pasteurizer. We're gonna heat it up to about 70 degrees of, uh, Fahrenheit. And it's just way cleaner of an option than to just take it out of the tank and put it into a bottle. Yes, so we're gonna try some beer now? Yes, absolutely, let's go for it. Awesome, Cool. Yes. The next day. So we got a subscriber here. We got a subscriber. You coming in? <laughs> Hi guys. How are you feeling? I'm good. You're good. good you good? What's your name? Desmond. Desmond, nice to meet you. You're a subscriber of the channel. Of course. Awesome. What's your favorite video? I can test you. My favorite video is one of you was in all things. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. When you was when you was with some white guys. Uh huh. So, yeah, that was my favorite video. Oh, nice. Have you seen the one of me at Culpeper Island? Yes. I saw the video also when you went to the one in St. Lucie. This is so uh, Animal Flower Cave. Oh, Animal Cave. Flower Cave. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Good. I always watch your videos. Awesome, awesome. It's always good to see you guys. If you ever see me, you know, come on over and say hi if you want to get a few little, you know, little cameo in the video. 
All right, so what would you recommend at Dried Hop Brewery? Well, I like the soft course beer. Ooh, yeah. is that dark or is it it's more a, of a... Um... It's a white beer, similar to like a Banks or a Deck Tea or Henneken. Uh -huh. It isn't as... As my friends say, he like he, he like the what's what you say you like? Small porter. The small porter. <laughs> it isn't dark like that. Ah. I could show you it if you like, but yeah. it's, it's more like it's lighter than this. Mm -hmm. But it's fruity Ooh. and it's strong like seven or eight percent. Usually a bank spears or that piece and stuff like that be like five point four percent. True, yeah. And this is like seven percent, so it's strong. Very nice beer. And it's fruity as well. I like I that. I love it. I love it. Love it. So we're trying some beer, we're trying some meat. Let's go. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm about to try the flight. Yes, you are. And we have Porter Realm Rock Pale Ale yep. and Summer Ale. Absolutely. This one is darker. Yep. Why is this one darker than all the rest? That one's darker because it has a lot of roasted barley in it. And the roasted barley gives it that dark, malty color. Um, and it also has a lot of smoky malt and chocolate malt in there. So you can taste the smoky malt in there. Well, that's our, that's our classic porter for you or smoked porter for you and it actually makes this very well when you consider all the different flavors being coffee and chocolate and smokiness in there um, and it's just a favorite from all of us we all love it I love it yeah love it love it it's me really too nice. mm -hmm. now we have the round rock yeah this round rock here what's so special about round rock what's special about it is that's the first beer we ever made oh, nice. yeah that is our number one first beer that we've ever brewed and it is a combination of various hops from the US, hops from England, and malt from all around the world. There's about six different types of malt, and there's about four different types of hops in there, and it all blends down to make the one flavor that you can only get here wow. at Dread Hop. So, there's a very fruity aroma to it. There is. You have flavors of clove, you are going to have tastes of banana and, and even pineapple and mango. It just goes all over the place. It, it all depends on your palate, because a lot of people have different ideas of what it tastes yeah, like, but yeah. everyone can agree that it is probably the, if not the best beer that we do here. Oh, right. Yeah. And now pale ale, white pale ale. Pale ale is classic uh, in the fact that it is a standard ale beer. Um, it is usually uh, very few hops, very few malts, um, and it's just a simple, I want to grab a quick pint of beer, and it's something that's always classic and has a very memorable flavor and taste to it. Yeah. It. And then now we have the summer ale, just mm. as clear. Is it clearer than the pale ale? It's a little bit clearer. It's a little bit lighter malt. Mm -hmm. So essentially the malt color uh, determines the color of the beer, essentially. Okay. So um, oh. yeah, so if you have a really light malt, which is basically malt that has been roasted at a very low temperature as opposed to a very high temperature, it roasts slower and it has a lighter color and that's exactly what the summer ale is. There's a lighter, easier drinking beer, something that a Bajan can, you know, reminisce. This is something that I've had from Banks or this is something I've had from Deputy or whatever the case may be. It's something that they can relate to. Yes, understood. Yeah. What's your favorite? My favorite is, without a doubt, the Round Rock. It is our number one from day one and will always be the number one in my opinion. But that is subjective to my thinking. I actually like the Round Rock. <laughs> it's right? nice, huh? Did you like it the best? Big fan of it. So my is gonna try it. She is almost of drinking age, but just a little sip because of her. When you're in the Caribbean, you have a little bit of beer, a little taste, you know, That's get true. your palate ready. That's true. Which one do you want to try? You want to try all? Yeah, I'll try this first. Okay. 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 Good really choice. Care. Good selection. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you on that. It does. So she caught it. Chocolate, she, yeah? Yeah, it does have a lot of chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. She's, she also doesn't like alcohol in general, oh, so that's don't. Perfect. That's perfect. You know, this is a great thing, man. It is. It's yeah. good. You don't need alcohol. <laughs> okay, try my favorite, the wrong one. It's just like straight coffee. <laughs> you don't like coffee either. That's great, though. I want it's to It's good like that coffee. she picked up yeah, the absolutely. coffee and the chocolate. <laughs> What's up, so Chris? you guys are doing something. <laughs> And you guys also do food as well. We do tons of food, yeah. We have a whole variety of different foods. I'm not sure if you guys can see up here, yeah. but all of it, our kitchen staff is lovely. They're so accommodating to everyone. And um, everything that comes out of here, I can vouch is amazing. I love it all. Okay, Matt, thank you so much. No problem, thank you guys. All about Dread Hop Brewing and allowing us to try your amazing beer. Guys, when you're in Barbados, or if you're a local, come down to Dread Hop Brewing and try my favorite, the Round Rock.